my Ice Bear Champion just arrived this morning. It's a Honda CT70 clone. I uh, picked it up for 1200 bucks, delivered from CajunMadDogs.com. There's the box that it came in. Apologize for the shop mess. I had the intention of cleaning my shop today when this arrived, and this is going to take priority. So I'll just have to work through the mess. This is going to be a unboxing or uncrating, unbolting, whatever you want to call it. But this is how it came, with the exception of the boxes on it. I took the box off to inspect it before the delivery driver left. Delivery driver was super nice, by the way. It was a lift gate service. Um, he had an electric pallet jack and you can kind of see my driveway but he brought it all the way to where my shop is to where it turns to gravel right here but this is it um, only concern I had when he first got it is this was torn and you can kind of see there was kind of a a little wrinkle I'm sorry a little wrinkle right here which is no big deal after my 225 pounds sits on it it's gonna wrinkle a lot more than that so Anyways, this is it. You can see right here, this was the other concern. Uh, the center stand was poking out of the plastic and through the box right here. Let's see if I can find it. But it's not scratched up or anything, so no worries on that. Um, stock tires right there. They're going to get swapped out before they even hit pavement. With these, these are Maxxis 120-90-10 tires. A little bit more aggressive for the look I was going for. I picked up uh, some decals for it from GeForce Graphics on eBay. They were the most recommended company to use for, uh, for these decals for these clones on uh, Facebook forum. Picked up this little keychain too on eBay. The GeForce graphics, they look pretty, the decals look pretty good. I'm going to make this a, I'm not sure if they ever made one to begin with, but uh, I had him kind of make this, I sent him a message to see if he could um, combine different decals in the sets he was selling, because I wanted these Trail 125 decals with the Docs Honda decals. And uh, he, he messaged me back fairly quickly and said that would be no problem, so... They will probably go on as well before this thing ever even hits the pavement. But anyways, I'm going to set the phone or set my camera up so I can start uncreating this thing. So let me get that going. and the inside nut is a 13 and if you don't have an electric or a cordless impact you're missing out Another close up look of it while I'm unboxing or uncrating it. That's something I wondered if this was going to be in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. It's in both, but if you look, uh, it's meant to be in kilometers per hour. Miles per hour is the smaller one on the bottom. And there's 1.2 miles or kilometers, I guess I should say, on it.
you would figure it's counting kilometers if the kilometer numbers you know more dominantly shown or I would assume but uh, it's a nice little display nice little setup it's got turn signal high beam and neutral indicator but anyways this is it more of a good look of it it's made in China made in China but anyways this is it okay let's continue Turn signal isn't even mounted in there yet. I guess the, so it doesn't take the risk of breaking it off however this other side is mounted. Is the rear rack for it? Well, looks pretty nice. in the box. Uh, shift lever. Bushing of some sort. Uh, a, three zip ties. A couple more zip ties. Some bolts and washers. Four of those. Looks like a rubber strap, maybe a tool bag strap. Operation instruction. And a small bag. This looks like they're probably for the battery. Two bolts and two rectangular style nuts. some Windex. 